What's up everyone? This is Jamin TV. I'm your host Danielle. And I'm your host Joy and we have a very exciting show for you today. That's right. Today we have a singer-songwriter from New Jersey who has the perfect acoustic sound and is backed up by a guitar and violin player. They're here for their debut performance on Jamin TV. Please welcome to the stage New London Fire. Listen to the chains I carry dragging on the ground Chorus of the angels echo, I ignite the sound, take everyone's last prayer and walk on through the blood we found, meet me on the other side of town. Felt you there in the dim light shadows, in the crowd we bled and take all the noise we need to borrow. Settle in, my friend, and we'll blaze a trail of youth and glory to the light we're bound. I'll meet you on the other side of town. that I cannot find You will see through the heart of heroes You will make things right Take all the righteous indignation Buried in the crowd and Meet me on the other side of town see their faces, eyes closed, kids in their arms. I could feel the heat they borrow, desperate lost in harm. Take every man that you can count on to the fire we bound. I'll meet you on the other side of town. How long will it take before it's gone? Sunny he said there's never right or wrong. Somewhere in the middle where you are. Let myself and go until I'm far. Till the light goes out. Light goes out on me. Something in me I could never trust 
church bells and cathedrals as they chime I've left the only ones I've ever loved behind and I don't see you anymore I played in Kansas Oklahoma Baton Rouge I've seen the little things that people often do I've taken pictures to remember everything I never look at them or memories they would bring Cause I don't see you anymore Instead I see a long horse behind a grin I've seen too many women scatter in the wind I've seen a man I don't recognize I look in every window that I walk on by And I don't see you anymore I've been around the world 100,000 times I've slept on strangers floors and wrote down every rhyme and I don't see you anymore I don't see you anymore. Don't go anywhere. There is more great music coming up right next on Jammin' TV. Environmental Protection Agency is changing the way America drives. Look for the Smart Way Leaf to help you identify environmentally friendlier cars and trucks. Smart Way certified cars and trucks are more fuel efficient, produce fewer greenhouse gases, and can save you money. When you're helping the environment, it's a nice reflection on you. Smart way, because it's time America turned over a new leaf. Follow the leaf. Go to www.epa.gov slash smart way. After a car accident, Linda Davis needed CPR. Bill Hamilton needed temporary shelter when a fire destroyed his home. During an operation, Haley Reynolds needed a blood transfusion. Excuse me, may I go into that room, please? 
Thank you for giving me blood. Thank you for giving me shelter. Thank you for saving my life. Support the Red Cross and change a life, starting with your own. There are moments in your life when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. What do you do next? There is no cure. There is no game plan. Can you tell me what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't know. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers. But when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. That's why tens of thousands of parents across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight they need. It's called the EM Project. Every child is different, and unless we, as parents, tell the researchers what is specific to our child, how will they know? They don't live with the children. They don't see them every day. This is one thing that I can contribute I can contribute to the answer. Join the Ian Project. We all have questions. Together, we'll find the answers. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few the proud, the Marines. Welcome back. It's now time for more music from New London Fire. Some of the burning fields below the shadows and the smoke. I've been dying for some time. I'm surprised he spoke of all the men he'd like to kill and all the friends that left him broke. They say they'll take my land from me, but I ain't ever gonna go. She said to him, when times get hard, you are still my light inside the dark. I asked him if he wondered how the system came to be. If there was some way to find the answers he will need. flesh and bones clenched his fists in rage and said someday I'll find you home and I will stand above you as you sleep the dragon goes and wander in the void into the light the soul never go I'm 
said to him, baby, if you ever do this, then they win. I know times are hard. I will clean these wounds and mend your heart. on through the woods singing each other songs like brothers would then I heard the names whistling down the river banks bouncing off the rocks into the dust yeah mama's voice was calling out for us you left for the war when I had turned I slept with the letters you had sent to me When I walked out your grave I was whispering your name I turned my thoughts to good things you would do Yeah, mama's voice was crying
Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Jammin TV. Diet and exercise are never easy. Then again, neither is dying. Sadly, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke kill nearly a million people a year. Most of these deaths could be prevented. Please, talk to your doctor about your risk for diabetes and heart disease. And if your doctor recommends lifestyle changes or medication, listen. The reason so many die is because not enough are willing to change. You can stop it, starting right now. It's your life. Listen to your doctor. Eat better. Get moving. These days, people of all ages, including adults, can have a perfect smile. Thanks to today's technology, people with crooked teeth may no longer need to wear metal braces. One option many adults prefer is invisible braces. Instead of the typical metal bands or brackets that are cemented to teeth, these braces are clear plastic trays. Some advantages of invisible braces are they can be removed for eating and for brushing and flossing. They are practically invisible to see and they are less irritating to gums than traditional braces. Keep in mind that invisible braces are only available for people who need minor corrective work. If you are considering braces and would like to learn more about invisible braces, speak with your dentist. You're never too old for a beautiful smile. For the ADA Dental Minute, I'm Dr. Maria Lopez Howell. They've stormed beaches and freed countries. Protected the weak and defeated the strong. Shown courage and compassion. They've raised our flag and our hope. They've been called Leathernecks. They've been called Devil Dogs. But above all, they're called Marines. And here for the last time is more from New London Fire. Just wanna see all the places I like 
Mountains and prairies, when I close my eyes, I can see them. Maybe we are now just what we aimed for. Hold all the cards now, held them before. She had to slip into a dress the night before the smoke can clear her head while the worst she can't confess but the thoughts have left to mind sometimes never find their way she They will 
words come and softly touch your smile. They make their way into the space where the dead and out of place. Don't believe me, I have tried, but I am resting for a while. We'll look for you again someday.
Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with an exclusive interview with New London Fire. You're watching Jammin' TV. Nutrition plays an important role in your health. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has recently revised the food pyramid. This new food pyramid focuses on an individual approach to healthy foods and fitness. The new pyramid is broken up into six sections. The five main food groups, which are whole grains, vegetables, fruits, low-fat or fat-free milk, lean meats and beans, and the sixth section is oils. Activity plays a key role in the new pyramid and is represented by a person climbing the stairs. The main goal of the new pyramid is to help you make a wise food choice from each group and to find a balance between food and physical activity. To create an eating plan that's best for you, visit mypyramid.gov. For the ADA Dental Minute, I'm Dr. Maria Lopez Howell. Hi, I'm Mia Hamm. As a professional soccer player and a future soccer mom, I know how fun and rewarding sports can be. I also know how frustrating it is when you're sidelined by an injury. So I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to ask young athletes to play it safe when playing sports. I spent years training to become a world-class athlete. I know what it takes to become an expert on the field. Orthodontists understand this too. They're experts in their field, helping kids and adults obtain healthy, beautiful smiles. They want to help athletes prevent injuries and stay in the game. It only takes a second to get hurt, and too many athletes are risking injury because they're not properly equipped during games and practices. Wear the right protective gear, like mouth guards, face masks, and helmets. Your first line of defense against preventable injuries. Play it safe, achieve your goals, and keep smiling. Visit braces.org. <laughs> At playgolfamerica.com, you can find a program near you that will let you get out there and get the most out of golf no matter what kind of player you are. Play Golf America. I always lived the life of, I don't care. Growing up, I never felt I was part of anything. That's why I thought I wouldn't become anything. I realized I was saying, I don't care. But I really did care. Children's Aid helped me change my life. I went from someone who really didn't care about anything to someone who cared about everything. Join the fight. Join the fight. Join the fight. Join the fight to help New York City kids. Join the fight. Visit the Children's Aid Society website at childrensaidny.org. When you start with Rotary, good things happen. Rotary is ordinary people working together to clean the environment, stop disease, and accomplish other extraordinary things. Learn more at rotary.org. Ladies, are you talking to your partners? About HIV. Two out of every three new HIV AIDS cases in women are among black women. Get informed, get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Join the campaign to end black AIDS, a partnership between Abbott and the Magic Johnson Foundation. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member. And join today, and thank you. Welcome back to Jammin' TV. I'm now joined by New London Fire. Thank you guys for that amazing performance. You guys were amazing. I, I just, um, I was just so shocked to see or hear your different type of sound. Where, where are you guys from? Um, Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. What, what part? I grew up in Oakland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it, from Pennsylvania, and I live in Brooklyn now, but I lived in Jersey for a little while. Oh, okay. I'm a big fan of Jersey. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Okay, so how did you guys meet? Um, through, we were label mates for a while, actually, mm -hmm. and um, I, was on, I was in a different band, 
on the same label as New London Fire, and we've just started collaborating recently. Okay. Yeah. So how did you guys come up with the name? Um, a long time ago, a friend of mine had come up with the name for a band, and he said, let's start this thing, and I was like, okay, and then he just kind of forgot about it, so I was like, you know what, I'm, is it cool if I just take that name? And okay, and then you found... That's it. <laughs> and you found... Well, I did a couple records, you know, and we toured a couple times with uh, Kiss Kiss, which is the band Rebecca was on. We were both on mm -hmm. Eyeball Records. Okay. And... Um, we just became friends, and I knew I wanted to go with some some fiddle on this new record. And couldn't think of anyone better to call. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Okay. So when did each of you start playing your instrument? And I'll start with you first. Oh, geez. Um, thirteen. Somewhere around there, twelve. Thirteen. I don't know. Maybe. Wow. So you've been playing for uh, how many? What number of years? Oh God, I don't even, I don't know because I mean, when did I start really taking it seriously? I think is like, you know, it was probably the first time I sat down and wrote a song, mm. you know, it was just out of emotion, the guitar was there and I was like, ugh, you know, and that was probably when I was 21. Oh, okay. All right, so when did you first start playing? Uh, I started when I was four. Wow. Yeah, I saw, I saw It's How Promen on TV at four years old and I told my mom that I wanted to do what he was doing and she found me lessons like in our neighborhood and just kind of went from there. Wow, so around what age did you start writing? And I didn't, I really didn't start writing until I joined Kiss Kiss um, because I followed a very classical route when I was studying as a kid and went to school for classical music and then got through college and went this is boring, I want to join a band. So, yeah, I didn't really start writing until I uh, Kiss Kiss and toured with them and wrote an album with them. Okay, so what would be your um, favorite song to play? What song that you guys did today? Oh. That's hard. Oh, actually, my the favorite ones that I have personally are the ones that I actually got to record on the new record. Cause this is the first record that I'm on with New London Fire, so it was really fun getting into the studio with Dave and with Dan Goodwin. and hashing out parts um so i'd say the other side of the dance the first track yeah. on, on the uh record it's the first song we played it's the first song on the, on the new record and as soon as you know we had done the song it was missing something and as soon as uh, rebecca came in and started playing it was like that was it just mm -hmm. made it all just tied it together so nicely so, okay and what's the name of the song that you what it's called it? Other Side of Town. Other Side of Town, okay. Yeah. So who writes mo the majority of the songs? I, I, I write all the songs. I write all the songs, right. okay. And who would you say influences you the most? Like what artists or bands would you say? Me first. <laughs> um, that's, that's such a difficult question. I, I mean, as a violinist, I am influenced by other violinists, and I like seeing what people are doing. I'm, influenced by the greats like Stefan Grappelli and John Luc Ponty and stuff like that. And that's such a difficult question. I like so many bands. I'm influenced by my friends who write amazing music and keep doing what they're doing even though it's a really hard industry to be in. Yeah. Yeah. And you? I grew up on Motown and doo-wop music. It's all I had. My mom had, you know, we had records and I would just sit there playing what all I knew. So she had early Beatles. Um, she had Springsteen records, she had, you know, doo-wop and Motown mm -hmm. records. So that's kind of what influenced what I want to hear and get out of music. And as I got older, you know, started developing my own likes and dislikes and stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty messy for a long time. Now, <laughs> I think the person who inspires me the most is probably Springsteen. Okay. Um, just the fact that he's, you know, has such a, his music just, the lyrics just really connect with me okay. a great deal. And that's what I think brings out the melody and the lyrics is something that I'm just, I focus on when I listen to music. Some people it's the bass or the drums or whatever, but I'm really locked into that. So Tom Waits, Tom Waits also. Tom Waits, okay. So who would you say, um, if you could describe your band in just one word, one short word, what would you, what word would you use? Hard question? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> That's um, so lame. We have to think of a word. Yes, we do. We do. We do. Um, to describe the band? Yeah. Americana? I like that. I like that. Americana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for more with new jamming London Fire on Jammin TV right after this break. Some creatures have really big teeth. Some seem out of place. In the animal kingdom, all smiles are not created equal, but they take what they get. Luckily, you don't have to settle for what nature intended because you can turn to an orthodontist to help achieve that perfect smile. Orthodontists receive an additional two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Their focus is correcting crooked teeth, misaligned jaws, and dental irregularities. Sure, we all wish we had a naturally fabulous smile, but sometimes we need to call in the specialist. Make the most of what nature gave you. Visit an orthodontist for a lifetime of healthy, beautiful smiles. For more information, visit braces.org. see abuse or neglect, learn what you can do at BeHumane.org. Some dogs fetch and roll over and shake hands. Some dogs take you to Spain and shopping for refrigerators and help you get through grad school. Some dogs help you start your own business go on hikes in the Grand Canyon and skip rocks on the pond. Some dogs you trust with your life every day. Being partners with a guide dog is about more than walking down the sidewalk. It's about having the freedom to do what you want in life. Nothing more, nothing less. And with your help on Guide Dogs for the Blind, nothing need ever change that. Call 1-888-884-DOGS or visit GuideDogs.com. Welcome back. I'm still joined by New London Fire. So, guys, just um, tell us a little bit about the album. Well, we recorded up in uh, Woodstock at a place um, called the Isocon with uh, Dan Goodwin, T. James Goodwin. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a great place. It's, like, really hidden and just really, you know, somewhere where we could concentrate and just feel. Which is always good for let recording. It go. yeah. yeah, it's really nice and isolated and yeah. very comfortable. And, and a lot of the songs are about, like, um, probably the struggles of the uh, working class in this country. And it's inspired by a lot of, you know, what's happened in this country through the Industrial Revolution up until now, so. Okay. So um, when is the album coming out? It's coming out November 22nd on vinyl in stores, so you could probably go to like your mom and pop local record shop and find it there. Um, we encourage you buy the vinyl. <laughs> it's got it comes with a download card, which is cool because you've got the MP3s when you take it home if you want them, or you can just sit and listen to you know the record how we intended it. Okay. You know, which is cool. 
And what would you say are some of your hopes for the near future for the group? Hmm. Just getting our music out there. Yeah, we'd like to, you know, share as much as possible. We did like a whole bunch of videos um, and we're doing more. So almost like every song we're gonna have something, you know, to share with people and, uh, you know, it's on our website, which is newlondonfire.com. And okay. um, we, we post videos and just keep doing that and we're playing as much as possible. I think we're playing next month at the Music Merchant in Westwood. In Westwood, New Jersey? Mm-hmm. There's a record shop, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, that, you know, that's just one of the places that are going to be, you know, selling our record, which is really great yeah. for us. This, rec this record's really fun because it's it's a full band record, but it can also be played at record stores, and that's a lot of the shows that he and I have been doing together. It's just a really like stripped down version of the album, which is really fun, and it gives fans an opportunity to hear the album in, in a completely different way. Yeah, it's more intimate. I feel a lot of the rock stuff, you know, that happens. On this is a full band record. It's not like what you you know just heard, but. We're able to kind of strip it down to the bare necessities. And okay, that's so great. So thank you so much for being with us today, guys. And we'll be right back with more Jam and TV right after this. Hundred and twenty-six thousand investors. That's how many people SIPC has helped since 1970. Five hundred and five million dollars. Over half a billion dollars. That's how much SIPC has made available from its reserves to help investors. Over fifteen billion dollars. That's how much SIPC has made it possible for investors to recover. What is SIPC? It's the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. An investor's first line of defense in the unlikely event that a brokerage firm fails. It doesn't happen very often. But when it does, SIPC is there for real people. Like me. And me. And me. And you. Take the time to learn more about SIPC at www.sipc.org. As a parent, I know one of the most important times to be with your children is when they aren't feeling well. That's when the love and comfort of a family is essential to a child's well-being. For many families, there's a place they can go to find the support they need. Ronald McDonald House Charities programs provide that supportive environment so families can be together while their children are dealing with serious illnesses and undergoing treatment. It's a home away from home for families in need, giving them more time for hugs, kisses, quiet moments together. You can volunteer your time at a local Ronald McDonald House and help a family in need by cooking a meal or hosting a movie night. You can also drop your extra change in an RMHC canister. These contributions, both large and small, help more than 10,000 families every day. Proof that a little help goes a long way. Today is a great day for all of us to show our support and help give families in need more time together. To find out how you can get involved in your community, visit rmhc.org. So many animals have already been wiped off the face of the planet. The ones who remain need your help to survive. WWF is the only organization on the ground in over 100 countries, saving wildlife from extinction and fighting to save their habitats. Please go online right now. You'll be part of the most ambitious effort to save wildlife and wild places the world has ever seen. If we don't act now, it could be too late. It's all up to us. Well, that's it for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to watch us live every Thursday on our Ustream channel. 
I also want to thank New London Fire for playing on our show today. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Definitely. It. Thank you for stopping by. That was an awesome performance. Until next time, I'm your host, Danielle. And I'm your host, Joy. Reminding you that, as always, we put the jam in jamming. See you next time. Meet me on the other side of town. Felt you there in the dim light shadows In the crowd we blend Take all the noise we need to borrow Settle in my friend We'll blaze a trail of youth and glory To the light we're bound I'll meet you on the other side of town that I cannot find You will see through the heart of heroes You will make things right Take all the righteous indignation Buried in the crowd Meet me on the other side of town see their faces eyes closed kids in their arms i could